bathroom. I might be shouting a bit here, protection on. Um, yeah, just uh, doing all these cuts. Then I'm going to them down, that'll be the floor finished. It's uh, Tuesday, hottest day of the year, supposedly. We moved Jess yesterday, which was interesting. Luckily the van had aircon and all that sort of stuff, so not too bad, not too bad. But we've got the job done, so that's good. Um, done a job on a boat this morning. Thought I'd try and get these done. Don't know what that is. Um, try and get these cut and bonded down today. Then Fran logs grouting, so Fran can do the grouting. I can start to work on the toilet plumbing and all that sort of stuff that's sat here. It's a bit warm, but it's okay. Oh, bit of tube by army. Hopefully, I'll have to cut that short because uh, YouTube will come out. Okay, they're all bonded down now. Uh, so I can't stand on the outside of those. This uh, annoying little thing, toilet jobby, jobby. Hmm. Um, there's the wood that's now trimmed to fit there. Still, I've just got it's just got to be sanded, sanded a little bit. Okay, so that's the timber from this side. I've now got to cut into the bulkhead so we can uh, look at how you get the cassettes out. Obviously, I've got to make a door for the other side of there, but uh, that's what it looks like this side. Still all work in progress. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that old a blade really. So the template didn't work, so we've just gone for a square. Yeah. <sighs> and it'd be easier to put it all on, so there you go. The reason that looks all chopped to bits, um, I've just uh, I've just opened up the parts that I need to open up. What I, what I'm, my mate, what I most likely will do, now I know why all the clearances are, I will probably clear that to be a square. Yeah. Just so, I just know so that. we could get it in. Just I just so wanted we... to get it in because my tools so blunt. My, my tools are so blunt. It's burning through the woods. It's not. Uh, it's not really cutting through at all. So it's causing me some problems. But that's that's that. Um, if you want to look in, in here, so you sort of get the look at what that's that's starting to look like in there. And I've got to put the control probably here somewhere, or maybe in the maybe in the middle. I don't know. Uh, the controls here, <coughs> so I've got to put that that in somewhere. Drop it to the side. I, I don't know. Yeah, either. Yeah, I mean, yeah, normally goes to the side, wouldn't yeah. But so I'm not doing that now because it will just rip that plywood to bits. Oh. Yeah. Huh? It looks good, and that'll all be blocked in, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's still, there's still quite a lot. Of, there's, there's still quite a lot of hours um, in that bit there. Yeah. So yeah, there's still quite a lot to do in there. I've got to drill the hole for the waste to go out. Put teas in for the hot and cold. Bring cold over to the toilet. It's already working. Wired up. But it's not permanent at the back. So um, bomb the sink down. Cut a hole in the top. Put the taps on. Yes. <laughs> um, so there's a bit of work left there. But I'm, um... That's all under there. Another day. Alright. Uh, took some hard boats out. Did much shopping chores. I need to, still need to put that away. Um, yeah, we've got um, a little bit of a list. Try and get ready for next weekend. Uh, a bit dark in here. To illuminate the subject shall we uh, so there's a bit of a list to try and get done uh, ready for next week 
uh, some some out um, curtains in the bathroom because right now the privacy is non-existent. Uh, grab the bathroom floor, fix those rear steps in, uh, fix the front step in because that's a bit loose. Uh, put them in the toilet, water in. Um, supply the sink, there's water as well. Uh, cut hole in the worktop, fix the toilet down. Sink drain through the hall, oven brackets I need to do. There's a spider on my hat. Um, uh, fix the hob and bomb the top in the kitchen. Uh, I've got a problem with that fridge draining box that you, that you know about. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Yeah, that cheap Chinese thing, mm, rubbish. Uh, fix to the bedroom and kitchen thresholds, which is a bit of oak trim, and that cassette door. I think there's other things, but uh, anyway, that's that's my list, uh, uh, primary list. So let's get cracking with that, put all this shopping away. Uh, so we, we've got all our provisions for the week. Um, and yeah, some more, more multi-tool blades because the ones, the one I was using, I was quicker, be quicker chewing through it. Right, let's get cracking. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing next, but uh, let's see. Bit of Alice on uh, the radio, well, radio, telly. It's on uh, 80s rock, anyway. Um, Open so, that up now. Uh, I'm just gonna sort of trim that, and make sure make that all nice and uh, an opening door and that kind of thing. So cracking on with that. Certainly looks good. I like the tiles as you look through there. Uh, those are the thresholds I was sort of talking about there that just need to bridge the gap between the two. The flooring's come out really level, so I'm really pleased with that. Right, okay, um, pressing on, yeah, of course. Uh, that's the uh, Thetford toilet uh, flushy button, and there's a level indicator there as well. It's not powered up yet, but I have tested that. That works fine. Uh, I'm going to look at the door in a second. So, um, plumbing under the sink. There's my hot and cold feed under there. Uh, isolation valves on both of them. Uh, I'm going to go be OTT on the isolation valves. Isolation valves on the on the taps up there, up, up to the sink, and I'm also going to put a isolation valve to the toilet as well. Uh, I need to find a tap washer for there because I haven't got one. Yeah, so that's the part I ordered for the Thetford toilet. Uh, the Thetford one is a plastic one, mm. um, so this brass one, a half inch BSP. Uh, all I need to do is put like a tap washer in there to seal that. Uh, and that'll be fine and much stronger than plastic. So, uh, yeah, pressing on with the plumbing. 
Uh, I don't like doing plumbing on a boat. Acc accidents. There's a bit of water there, but I had a bowl under it, you can see here. Uh, but obviously, again, with the boat, you, you can drop the pressure, but there's still water all in them pipes there. Uh, and with the hot water, you've got a header tank up there, which is a bit higher than the pipe, so it'll feed that, so, especially if you open it up. Right, I uh, need to find a washer for there. Hmm. Busy, busy. Um, not sure about these bloody fittings, but anyway, uh, I've stopped the leak now. So these are the plastic fittings that screw onto these isolation valves. Um, isolation valves everywhere. There's a pair there coming in, hot and cold. There's one there for the toilet, and there's one there for each tap as well. It's probably overkill. But anyway, I wanted to show you something. Um, we have a flushing toilet. On this top down. Uh, you'll see in a second I've cut the hole for the uh, the waste. So this is just being bonded down. With a bead of this stuff around it, it ain't going anywhere. <coughs> okay, so I've took the film off underneath. And there's the hole for the the waste. So let that go off. And uh, Right, shiny plug hole. Um, don't it's like the one. That's not funny. <laughs> um, yes, one of the press type. I don't like the one that come with it. That's got the lever things on the back. So these are a lot easier. And Can you go back a bit? Because I can't get you all in. I'll be outside, wouldn't I? I'm too close here. Um, yes, yeah, so a push-up type for the for the sink. Um, and a, a small trap. Somebody asked me before. A small trap, rather than a large trap. From the black ones, you know. Caught in a trap. No. Um, small trap. So he said, "Why bother putting a trap on if you're just going straight outside?" Um, the, the only reason is wind will blow up that pipe and blow up the plug hole. Ah. So that's why you put a trap that's got water in it. We will have water in it, so um, it just stops that. Whereas a normal a normal reason for a trap, it stops smells coming through. Um, in this case, it will stop. Oh, that's quite Ooh. nice. Oh, it will stop plug wind hole. and stuff blowing up the up, up the plug hole. <sighs> but much neater than them lever things that stick up out the back of there. I really yeah. don't like them. No. Um. Okay, so within that bag should also be one of these. Now that is the wrong size. Oh God. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Can you stop doing that? Well, it's because I'm ordering stuff just out of the cat uh, off a catalogue, a lot of screw fix. Um, it is the wrong size. Oh, it is. Um, okay. Yeah, it's the wrong size. Okay, drilling a hole in a perfectly good boat. So I've just put yeah. six mil in. Fans trying to keep the boat pushed out. This is windy. So I'm just about to pop that through. Um, not filming very much of this because we don't want that in the drink. So we'll, we'll catch up with you when we put a hole in there. Right, there's a hole in the hole. Going to treat that, obviously. 
and I've just popped this big drill through so I can find out where that hole is on the inside and hopefully it's well wanted. That'd be nice, eh? Right, there it is. So now I just need to cut a square in there so I can always get to that uh, skin fitting. I'll get the multi-tool in there and cut that out. It's all coming together. Bit of a damp patch, but it's all okay now. I found with these, you really have to tighten them up crazy tight. But uh, hey how it's in, there's the hose fitting for the for the skin fitting. Right, final touches. I'll stay for the record, I hate plumbing. Um, thought electric was awkward, but bloody hell. Still got a bond sink down, but I can lift that up to do that. You can see uh, here's the drain out to the skin fitting there's a reason the skin fitting's got some tissue in it because I really want to keep make sure there's no nothing leaking from there so keep an eye on that over the next few days um, obviously it leaks anywhere else I thought I might have one here actually but I don't know it's just taking a long time so I did spill some water here so keep an eye on that tissue so yeah, here's the drain, all that's done. So let's, uh, let's open that. Nothing's, nothing's coming out, which is good. So look up top. How about that? I can hear water going outside. That's the cold. Let's see if the hot is. Le Oops. Let's see if the hot does something similar, dram similarly dramatic. Nothing leaking, which we like. So hot water. Yep, that's hot water. <laughs> we have got hot water. That's hot water. Okay. So really now it's uh, lift the sink and glue um, it back down. I might do that. I might do that tomorrow. Well, one of them little jobs we was going to do, left over from the other week, was it? Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got the brackets for the oven to sit on. So uh, gonna just going to put them in. Sit in properly, it will. Yeah, just one of them jobs that uh, I needed just to do. Uh, 
so what this does is ju just the oven the oven sits on these brackets gives the airflow underneath and enough airflow for above <laughs> I want to bond this, I want to get bonded down. So it's just bring the seal on for the hob. Um, yeah, I probably know that you normally put it on the hob itself. I don't think it makes any difference to be fair. Don't make any difference to me, so. Yeah. Um, so it's all bonded down the unit now as well, the top. On there. No, it sticks to it though. It doesn't. It's, there you go. It just sits on there. Oh. You normally clamp it from underneath. I thought it stuck to it. Normally it sticks. I thought it was double sided. It's not right? double sided now. So oh, that's that, weird. That's what I'm saying when I'm saying. Um, okay. But I think if we can live with that hob, we, we'll see how that how, how that sort of pans out. If it if it sits where it's supposed to sit and happy days, then maybe that's the answer. But uh, right, you, you always you do need to be able to get back in there for boat safety examiner. I always thought this stuff was double-sided sticky. Well, that's not. And I haven't got enough experience with fitting hobs. Okay, that's bonded down. Uh, that was a mistake. We should have put that on the on the hob, not the... So I'm going to have to run a sharp knife just where it's exposed. But, um, yeah, that's bonded down now. The oven's spaced up properly. It's missing the drawer at the bottom, which is good. I just need to put another couple of screws in there. All right, another day. Continuing on this list. Uh fix toilet down okay so you can see uh, there are two holes I don't even see that there are two holes fixing holes um, to bolt the toilet down with so fan had the idea I've been whittling pencils and all sorts of stuff so I can mark those holes and fan says oh a bit of paint on a screwdriver I'm like I don't think of that because it's it's an obvious one, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's managed just to put a little dot uh, where I need those fixings to go. So all I've got to do really is drill through the tile because the the toilet will screw into the wood floor below. So right, let's get on with that. Oh, that's fixed in, what a pain in the... That was. Oh, <laughs> that was, so that's fixed in. That one. Fixed toilet down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So all the star ones are done now, apart from the rear steps. So this wasn't on our list to do, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, finishing the trim off on top of the the, the, the uh, dinette and down the side, and Fran wants her elephant tea towel hangers back up, so I'm doing that. In the meantime, yeah, I'm on your knees. Well, what are you doing? Making a mess. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Grouting. <laughs> Grouting. <laughs> Bit more work done, just trim that. It's got to be darkened, obviously. I've got to put a little bit of skirting on the bottom there as well. Just helps finish that off. You still doing that? Uh, yes. I thought you might be. Always looks better with some grout in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Looking good. Can't find that screw I've dropped. No. Yeah. the job on the list uh, bed slots uh, I've just reframed that door as well all uh, the frame is done yeah I've just done that that wasn't on the list but it's um, I've been wanting to do that for uh, when I did it I, did, I, did, I made it up out of bits of wood that I had never really happy with it but yeah getting the bed slots done just so we can move the These are the removable ones the removable for the walkway, stuff, yeah, basically. For the <laughs> That's what I'm trying to jibber through. Uh, and I still, it's, what time is it now? One o'clock nearly, and I still haven't started the steps. And really, today's my only day where I bother me. It's the... It's uh, obviously damaging the floor, so I'm going to try, I'm gonna try, certainly try not to. But I need somewhere flat. Number eight's the wrong way around. Good spot. It does make a difference actually, that, or could do. Because that, that, they are cut to they're individually cut in like these, yeah. so they fit in the in the space because the whole. Oh. I'm not pop the other screws in there. That's it. That's the one in it. That's one. See if it fits. Okay, we're at that point. Um, well, there's the uh, surround for the door, which uh, to me looks a lot better. Um, panning round. What else did I do in here? Not very much. It's looking neat. Uh. Um, the trim's all done for the uh, dinette on the top of there, and the effluent's on, and the skirts on, the skirting's on as well, so that's starting to look a bit better. Did I do anything else here? Well, we glued, we, we, we did that worktop, yes, we did that. We did that, still got to make the door, did the threshold, Fran tiled the bathroom floor. We bolted the sink, the toilet down. We powered it up. We did all the water pipes and waste uh, out to the outside world. We did that threshold. Can't see in there really, but uh, steps are bolted in, screwed in just temporarily to get us through next weekend. Uh, holding the work that we did. Uh, front step, I just beef that up a little bit. Happy days. But the boat's starting to look really quite nice. Those finishing touches, I've still got a lot of finishing touches to do, but uh, those finishing touches definitely make a difference. But yeah, this is all starting to look like a bit of a bathroom now. Oh, I did that edge as well. So, yeah, all looking really good. The indicator works as well now. Which is nice for the levels. Happy days. Busy, busy time that. Busy time. But we've really pushed the boat out to push the boat out and, um, to get as much done as we possibly can, and it's helped us. Um, oh, and there's a, a, a friend bought us a, a picture. Don't like people normally buying us pictures and things for the boat because we like to choose what goes in our boat, but we really like that, so that's okay. Nobody else buys us anything for the boat. Don't. 
Um, right, okay, I'll wait for Fran to come back and we can do a, a wrap up. Why did I say wrap up then? No idea. Okay, oh, and we need, we do need to get those, these pictures done as well. Don't like to see those blank frames. Much rather see all full of funness and stuff, so. Okay, wait for Fran to get back and we'll wrap the video. Are we just back from work? Fran's on the phone. I'm not. You're not? I'm doing voices. Oh, on your phone. <laughs> uh, so yeah we just come back from work um absolutely shattered after that weekend mm. i think we're done for it was absolutely shattered last night um we got a fair bit done and that was great and today when i got back from work i hung the curtains up temporarily um I, shall i show you those yeah they're just a bit of copper pipe and a bit of wood brackets that I cut holes in. So we can we've got some modesty curtains for the bathroom and <laughs> we in our bedroom. Yeah. So we hung those up. So we got a lot done. You've seen that. We've got a hell of a lot done. Um, burnt us out a little bit. So it's. Um, it was a full on day yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> full day off. Yeah, day off. Jeez. <laughs> Not today, I say. This morning, Fran's doing her job. Um, I don't know what you're doing today. Cleaning and stuff, was you? Mm -hmm. I was in the uh, engine yeah. base, I was in the engine bay taking batteries out. I fitted a battery charger, did some solar quotes. <sighs> did something else, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, busy day, but we're back now and that's it. It's uh, <laughs> so, so that's it for this video. Um, I think if anything, it shows you again, and again, if we need to reinforce it, how many things you've got to do. How much work and even. And even people say, don't they? Oh, you, you look nearly finished. You know you're not nearly finished. You're nowhere near nearly finished. I think we've probably pushed it up a little bit this last few days. So I, I think we're probably approaching 90% finished, I think, now. We'll have to do a list of what we've got left. <laughs> that's a long list. <laughs> it would be interesting to see what yeah, we've got left. Yeah, I, I know that's... It don't look a lot, but we are. I know it is a lot. There's still... This, yeah, I mean, there's all the central eating and stuff. Maybe we do that for the start of the next video. All the stuff we've got to do, like what 10% of a narrow boat looks like. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. Uh, we're probably going to have a nod off because the sun's shining through our bow doors. Um, and it's just that sleepy temperature where... Yeah, it's quite a nice temperature. <laughs> I could sleep at the top of a hat at the moment. Yeah, at the moment. So, right, guys... Um, no, no, hopefully, I don't know if you enjoyed the right word, but hopefully that gives you another insight into the workings and the buildings of a narrow boat. The day in the life. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many months are we in now? We were, so we're nearly, nearly the end of the seventh month, aren't we? So we're about nine months in now. We've uh, done well for nine months. And I think now. we've done well. I'll look at it now. And I, funny enough, I was looking yesterday and I was... I was imagining when we was first putting this ceiling up mm. and there was no lining on the walls, no floor, yeah. nothing. And and yet that seems a million years ago, but it yeah. really wasn't that long, no. was it? No. No, we've done well. So I think I think we've done all right. We've done all I right. I should say Martin's done well. Well, it's a, it's a team effort. It is a team effort, but you have done a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be the death of me. Mm. <laughs> I'm just the uh, labourer. <laughs> If you was the labourer, you should be mixing that grout up. I mean, no, not the grout, the toilet do you see, with the drill. Carrying oh, bricks. No. They're not carrying you, bricks. You wouldn't have trusted me to do that. No, probably not a bit everywhere. Um, yeah, well, I got cleared some rubbish away as well today. I took that toll bucket away because they're taking the skip away. So I got rid of that. I got rid of some wood that we don't need. And I'm that... the painter and the oiler and the grouter. And... Oh, my arm's aching. Sorry, the Cinderella. Cinderella. Um, yeah, I think as well... The, the amount of rubbish we've generated as well, isn't we? You know, yeah. the, yeah. the amount of stuff. Bag, it's full again. Yeah, the amount of stuff you, you know, you need to take to the dump and stuff. And I think maybe that's something as well, you know, if you're trying to do this. I don't think I could have done it if I wasn't in the marina with yeah. with mains power, um, managing to get things delivered here for the boat and things like that. I really don't think I could have done it, you know, with I'm just running on the inverter and solar and... Carting stuff down the muddy towpath. And so, no, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have, couldn't have done it. So our plans for next year might be very different, aren't they, when the boat's finished? Yeah. We're not quite sure what we're doing yet. Do we keep the mooring? Do we just head off for the, the summers and do more travelling? We want to go up the river before the end of the year. Well, I do. And we're going up to Gloucester. The 
this weekend. Friday, because the Gloucester Blues Festival is on, so we're taking the boats up to the Keys. Um, maybe we'll take you along and do a little bonus video, I don't know. Yeah, my brother's coming. Yeah, your brother's coming. My mad sister-in-law. Yes. <laughs> Um, we love you, Wendy. Really. Yeah, we love you, Wendy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, right, that will cut. We'll cut it for there, shall we? So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit late. Coming. Keep the comments coming. We had loads last time. Um, Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, we're a little bit late just because the amount of, we've really concentrated on doing the work and then getting the video out as soon as we can. So, and it shows it's real time. It is Tuesday, the twenty whatever it is of July. Twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Track. 26. 26. Yeah, and it's uh, granddaughter's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Emily, Emily. if you're watching. Emily. Have a super Emily. birthday, Emily. Emily's, set, um, Emily's two tomorrow. <laughs> so, yes, um, anyway, happy birthday, Emily. We'll happy head birthday. off and probably have a nod off. And we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, keep the comments, give us a thumbs up and keep subscribing. Okay, guys, see you next time. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.